everyone, welcome back with me. Today we will covering my new favorite studio. It's version 1.0. So they released this when this table version uh, some time ago, and let's figure out what they changed from the beta version. Okay, so first of all, can you import your models from beta to stable version? Yes, you can. I've tried to import one of my models, but um, it took quite a long time for me personally. So let's create new. We will go with email. First. Uh, let's look at the mail one letter, okay? So they have more face preset. This is the face. First, we have the face four, and for this three dot here. Have save, save first, undo, redo, and back to model search. We also have hairstyle, body, outfit, accessories, and look. So, what's the difference from the beta version? I think the stable version is faster when you click on different section. And on your right side, for the three dot on the right side, there are settings for beginners. Differences from beta. FAQ keyboard shortcuts, download beta version and third loop. And this is the export button. And while this is the photography or screenshot button so if you click this one they will bring you to the pose facial expression background lighting point post processing and picture size yes they have picture size now if you want to go back just click x The difference is between the beta and the stable version. They say models are more customizable, and the new parameters for body and face more presets. They also say the favorite files you have from the beta cannot be used as this on the stable version. Okay, first of all, they have an accessory card. On the stable version, where models can wear accessories such as cat and rabbit ears, glasses, and each accessory is customized I will in shape, color, design. All true parameters much like ones you already used to. So let's go to the accessory pack. This is the accessory tab. So in the accessory pack, there is add accessory, and they will give you two options. Let's just pick glasses film. And the other option is jewelry ears, cat ears, and rabbit ears. So let's go to the glasses first. We will choose glasses. Click. Oh, and um, in stable version, I can use my tablet. So they have. Um, parameters like this, you can move this to the X, Y, or Z. You can 
cat also rotate um this is for resizing and the left type you have added textures you have added the colors there are also parameters frame shape Let's return the cells. Frame shape one. Frame shape two. Um, frame shape three. Frame shape four. And they have one, two, three, four, five, six. And frame shape. You can. I'll try them one by one when you try in your own photo. And if you don't want to use this, you can also use this to move for for resting on nose. You can also make the frame thinner. And this is the temple. The temple is this area. It's thicker temple. So tighter. And have the border parameters. Let's go to edit textures. Okay, let's in, let's let me introduce the tool for you first. There is here over here to rename or duplicate, and this is for a parameter. If you want to turn this off, just click once again, and like the beta version. This is selection, cross, eraser, and color. This is the twin. So when you draw, so if you turn this on when you draw, setting you on the side. Let's see what's next. Overlay figure. Okay, so they has an overlay feature. In this overlay figure, you can wear more than one piece of clothing from the same category. So, for example, you can wear two hoodies, two coats, and or a shirt. And the texture has their own parameters, and you can edit them by its textures. So, let's try. Let's go to the outfit. They have many sets. They have many sets over here. So let me show you. They have tops, bottom, dress, knife accessories, arm, inner toy, inner bottom, socks, and shoes. So Let's go with dress. They said we can use to um both from the same category, right? So if you want to overlay an outfit, for example, this dress, pencil skirt. They have this add a template. You can just click this and they will show you template. For example, let's go with the shirt. Okay. 
you can edit the parameters Let's try to add the different colors so we can see it's really overlaid or not. Okay, so here you go, you can add the dark color like this. So that's the new feature. Let's like go back. So that's it. if you post without surfing there will be unsafe item and if you want to go to another preset they will show you a warning box again later if you want to save this item or not if you don't want to save it it will be lost okay so let's see the max on differences they have they have more preset items, yes. A new hairstyle editor. They said the stable version hairstyle editor comes with many features that weren't there in beta. There are split in RS such as front back side extensions etc. You can move from tab and adjust hair groups. You can edit material texture dividing between main texture and highlights. You can toggle base hair on and off. You can edit texture for base hair, delete materials, and set hair bumpiness for each material. Until the beta version, you could only save or upload the hairstyle you create as a whole, but in the stable version, you can save each single part as a custom item, and this is use it on other models too. Okay, so let's check it out. This hairstyle, they have the front or the bangs. They have back. They have the overall hair. They have extensions. They have side. And a whole gig. They have an extra They also have a base hair you can custom So let's go to the front bank If you want to custom it, you can press this custom item And see that it will create another from items you can press edit hairstyle and they will show you like in the beta version preset group head procedural and there are hair parameters on the right side you can go ahead and press the hair you like just like in the beta version Add the 
material or material each material has their mind color like color or you can add a texture of each material if you press this color they also give one extra option like smoke okay they said that there are parameters they said there are the parameters that is new so let's see Maybe it's not it's not in this way. I mean maybe it's not in this section in the parameters they mentioned. Maybe we will get it if we go to this. Maybe the parameters they mentioned or rotation and move and resizing. See. So let's move on to the next. Custom items are shared with him. They say they kept collecting its comment and feedback messages and they did all they could to present us with the best product they can make In the beta version, to use an outfit or some facial parts you edited on the model you had to export its data and texture and go through a long and pleasant process on this table version, its item you edit can be saved as a custom item, saved locally on Pirate Studio, and shared among all models you create. Yes. So, if you wonder, uh, saved locally on Pirate Studio means that means like we like what we just did on. So when we made her clothes, I didn't save the textures or the, the clothes itself. Like for example, in the beta, you have to save the textures or the blueprints. But for this one, you can just put it right here. You don't need to save the texture itself, and just click on them, and you will get your texture. Still though, for safety, maybe you should save it or have data backup. No more undesired skin showing with skin marks. This is the new features that I think really help a lot the skin marks. So, what is skin marks? Let's go drift for example. See how to use the skin max function in the very Okay, so they they say Okay, so if you open the skin max tab, it will show the black and white area. So the black area is the area that will disappear, while the white area is the skin. 
And they said we can edit this key marks. Just use black and white brush to paint and marks. So we will try it out. First of all, let's delete some part of this outfit first. Maybe we can Let's just a wait and go Oh, okay, so it works. Uh, yep, so it's like that, but it works. So let's try now another. So it's we can edit different model with all quitting Ferrot Studio. On the beta version, you had to completely quit the program after you had saved a model in order to edit a different one. On the stable version, you can click on the three lines icon on the top right of the screen and select them. So let's go back. Perfect. Oh yes, it has this button. Let's let's see. So five color calibration. Yeah. And they changed the shadow into animator instead of the realistic. Okay, so I think we have seen a lot of differences in their web. Let's see how it looks now. Built First of all, I'm curious about how the transparency will work in the stable version. As you know, in the beta version, we cannot do have a transparent layer. It will turn black or completely disappear. So let's see what will transparency do in stable version. So turn off, it's the same in the stable version, it's either completely disappeared or just there. Let's do some extra.
so the transparency works if it's above a layer, another layer, or a template, I guess. Let's see if the template disappears. Yeah, it will only work if there is another template with transparency layer. So that means we also come out the transparent both thing, right? But like transparent, transparent layer. Um, let's see what new presets they have. Maybe we can discover something new. So it it's mostly the same. They have eyebrow, eyelid, nose, mouth, side, face paint. Skin, cheek, and expression editor. Apparently, they no, they separate the skin and face paint skin in this demo version. And you can also add mesh and stick and change the stick. You can also change the editing if in the beta version. They are all in one in one skin texture. Now they separate them all. I think it's a nice one since that means we can overlap some textures and it will be easier to and make some make another preset. They also added more parameters like now we can have sharp teeth, swim, ears, rock, jaw line, snow, a lot more. You can um, look at the parameters if and let's move on to the hairstyle let's see if we can if we still can make some tails or another accessories from hair maybe you are curious about this one let's start with making I will just make it simple. Well, since she can, you have this smooth potato area size. You can just bring this down. And here we go. 
know it's our and you can guys adjust this 